students welcome to today's session this is shweta roy your english math teacher at vidantu and today we will be having the second session on the little match girl uh, it's a beautiful story and i have already completed the story in the previous session and along with the critical analysis i hope everyone has gone through the story and the critical analysis and have visited the first everyone has visited the first uh, uh, video right so i hope now you are ready with the second session guys of the little match girl which is by hans christian andersen right so today we will be discussing with the theme and the character sketches i hope all of you are ready with that and in the next session we will be covering the major important concepts okay important question and answers and major concepts all right guys so let's begin without further ado first of all let me congratulate all of you for putting up your wonderful wonderful innovative and beautiful answers in the comment section keep posting your answers guys i really love to read them all thank you monica monica wonderfully answered and also creativity skills wonderfully answered and all all of you who have put up your comments in the comment section posted your comments on the comment in the comment section brilliant answers guys So now let's start with today's session let's begin with a beautiful quote relevant to the session again right so the quote says we can't heal the world today but we can begin with a voice of compassion a heart of love an act of kindness right so definitely this is one of the themes of the story that we are going to right now delve into that is the voice of love the act of kindness which we sometimes forget and as i told you that with the new year, new year approaching this is something which we should take as our new year resolution right so this story was also this story also uh, deals with new year you know and uh, the celebrations the kind of celebrations that people have and uh, in the in the you know glitter of the world we sometimes forget about those children who do not have the amenities and who uh, uh, whose wishes whose dreams remain unfulfilled right so what can we do for these people we hardly think about them right when we are lost in our own celebrations when we are lost in the glitter of the world we 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 really don't think about these people who need our empathy who need our compassion who need our kindness right so this is something which is like a reminder and quickly do let me know in the chat box what is your new year resolution okay what is your new year re resolution and how is it connected with you know healing the world yes so please do write it down please do point it out in the comment section in the in the chat box and if possible in the comment section as well so that we can definitely take a step because you people are the youth you people can bring the change and you people can bring smiles on so many people okay on the face of so faces of so many people so what can you do for them as a what is your new re, new year resolution and how is it connected to them please put it down in the comment section guys i would love to hear from all of you and we would also get so many ideas from all of you right so now we will be starting with the little match girl themes okay so we will be talking about themes first okay sorry so first theme is poverty you all know right that uh, how this uh, story is portraying the you know cultural uh, attitude due to uh, to extreme poverty and inequality during the period of industrial revolution as i told you that the setting is victorian okay victorian setting and definitely we are the story is set during the time of industrial revolution right industrial revolution which led to extreme poverty and the society was divided into uh, two uh, two 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 sections that is the extremely poor people and the rich people right so uh, of course uh, the poet uh, the, the author conveys the poverty of this little match girl by you know uh, saying that she is bare headed and bare foot and she succumbs slowly to the hypothermia while to hypothermia right while the wealthy people are safe indoors so when we are safe indoors we do we think about these people who are on streets 
right? And during the biting cold, what is the situation that they undergo, right? So he's run down. So this is this is showing the cruelty of this fast moving world with this industrialized world right she's run down by fast moving carriages that show no concern for her plight right so this is the unequal society that the that the uh, author conveys that the author actually portrays and this is prevalent even today so how can we bring about a change from our end what can we do right cruelty as i told you that her father will beat up the child and at that point uh, during the uh, Victorian society, children were considered as miniature adults. So definitely there was child labor because they were the earning members of the society and if they failed to earn, then they would be beaten up. So they were not uh, treated as now, uh, uh, as children, uh, you know, we, ch we treat our children in a different way now, right? So when we think about children, we do not... We, we do not think about uh, the children being earning member of the society, but in uh, lower sections of the lower strata of the people, they are still considered as the earning pe earning members, right? So if they are not able to, you know, earn for their family, then they are, uh, they succumb to cruelty, right? So no one tries to help her and finally she freezes to death and her ascendance to the heavens is her means of escape from the cruelty of the harsh worlds that she endures. Right. And the uh, poet, so, sorry, the author somehow suggests that the afterlife that she will have is definitely going to be rewarding for her. Right. So let's see the next one. Next important um, theme is the imagination when she conjures up new vision of the warmth, food, prosperity. Right. By contrast, people, what do, what do they see? They see her frozen body at the end of the story. And the narrator comments that they are not able to imagine. So what is uh, what is the imagination point here? The imagination point is only associated with the, with the little girl because she creates all her imagination. She visualizes everything that is unfulfilled, right? But uh, the people there, the people who look at the dead body of that little girl, they cannot imagine what was there in the mind of the little girl and why was there a smile on her face when she died, right? So all they see is the impoverished girl who tried to keep herself warm. And, uh, but unfortunately, she froze to death, right? And next is the afterlife. Definitely, this is an important theme, right? So when the girl dies, she ascends into the sky and she is going to be merged with her grandmother. And the story ends with a sense of hope. Now, what kind of hope is this? That is again questionable, right? Because ultimately she dies. So there, there, there's a twist in the fairy tale trope of the story as we had done in the previous class as well. We had discussed this. So of course there is death, okay? There is an, uh, uh, but uh, you know, fairy tale ends with what? Fairy tales end with happily ever after life. So similarly, this also is happily ever after life for the lady, for the girl. But of course, in a much different way. So is it a happy ever, a happily ever after life as we see it, we, it's, we, we are seeing it the, as the cruelty of the society, right? But for the girl, it was definitely rewarding because she would be merging with her grandmother who was the only person who, uh, who loved her, right? So Christian spiritual understandings of life and death and Anderson represents or presents death not as something to fear, but something as a relief from the cruelties of mortal existence, from the cruelties of the society that we suffer, right? So this is something which is very important and you can also merge the trope of fairy tale here. We have discussed this in the previous session. How has this trope of fairy tale been twisted? So please um, include this as well. Now we will be coming to the symbols. Very, very, very important, guys. So let's talk about the first symbol that is the very prominent one, shooting star. Okay, so shooting star, I had actually discussed this. Shooting star is the symbol of somebody dying. Okay, but also there is another meaning. When shooting star, when we sh see shooting stars, we, we say that uh, our wish will be granted. If we grant a wish while seeing a shooting star, our wish will be granted. That is our belief, right? So in case of the little girl also, 
the shooting star did grant her wish and she became merged with she 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 went to her grandmother who loved her the most right so she uh, the grandmother she did not want to uh, you know lose the sight of her grandmother lose her visual of the grandmother so she was sent to her grandmother and that is how her, this wish okay became a uh, successful became this wish was fulfilled all the other wishes you know the uh, visuals of uh, roasted goose and it's, uh, and all that they were their uh, they were her basic needs but uh, however that that could not be fulfilled but this one this one definitely so her wishes are a symbol of her unfulfilled desire right and you know her grandmother seeing the visual of grandmother being uh, you know a going and meeting her grandmother after heaven that symbolizes that her wish was fulfilled and shooting stars do fulfill our wish matches now matches as i told you uh, first of all initially it represents her safety because she was trying to uh, light the matchstick so that she could keep herself warm right uh, in the biting cold however that match also um, symbolizes her magical ability to imaginatively satisfy her desires for safety and comfort in the form of warm food prosperity and love so guys i hope you all are enjoying the session if yes then please quickly quickly give me a high five in the chat box and if you want to join us further and have a detailed study and a systematic approach right you can join us and gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks just visit the link below in the description box and pin comment and you can avail unlimited live classes with fun and high level quizzes you can compete with the students throughout the world interactive replays this is something which you can avail with live quizzes and leaderboards and you can also download the content which is having the master notes uh, sorry the uh, the notes of the master teachers because notes this is something which is really very problematic for all of you right so this problem this hurdle is going to be solved okay so don't worry guys just join our platform and this problem is going to be absolutely solved along with the major problem of doubt solving okay so doubt solving guys which is not possible in our uh, in youtube always because uh, it's not possible for one master teacher to take the doubts of so many people right but there you have one master teacher along with class teacher so this class teacher is going to take care of all your doubts okay so that is something which is which is uh, different from youtube and which is really helpful for you because all your doubts are going to solve no more piling up of doubts okay and free micro courses free 5000 plus micro courses and free crash courses for competitive exams that is what you are going to get and that too in less price so more classes in less price right now revision is going on in our platform guys so the moment you take this pro subscription you will be enrolled in a batch which will be the best for you guys and later on you can definitely change that but you will be enrolled directly into the revision batches theek hai bachcha so that will be best for you later on you can change according to your feasibility right and just need to visit the link in the description box and pin comment and use the coupon code swrepro i'm sure uh, this will be really helpful for you because these two years are crucial i don't think you should compromise on anything guys okay do not compromise on your studies these two are uh, these two years are crucial not just for your boards but for your future these are this is the base guys you have to prepare your base very strong so that it remains with you for your future and you can uh, you know in future whatever comes in your way you can come out with flying colors so that is only possible if you make your base strong and how is that possible we will be helping you and guiding you with the best possible guidance guys so do not think about anything guys just visit the link and you can avail this subscription at look at this 
2159 for one month and 5599 for three months if you use the coupon code which comes down to 11 rupees per class for a month and 9 rupees per class for three months guys so this is even cheaper than a packet of lace so what are you waiting for guys do visit the link in the description box and pin comment and use the coupon code SWRDPRO. All right, guys. So now we will check the character sketches. Okay. So the first character sketch is, of course, the little match girl. So talk about her being the protagonist. Okay. And what is the condition? How does she suffer? Right. So how is she described? First of all, okay. The first glance that we get. She is barefoot, symbolizing her poverty. So when you actually uh, talk about the little match girl, we have done so many things in the symbol, in the themes, right? So merge, keep on merging the same themes and the symbols along with the character sketch. Okay, that will definitely enrich your answer, right? So when you are, let's say, uh, talking about her being barefoot, bareheaded, you can uh, merge with the theme of symbol, you, symbol of poverty, right? So you can say that uh, this uh, talks about poverty, right this the setting is that of victorian society right this talks about cruelty as well so when you are talking about beating as, as punishment you can say that child uh, uh, in victorian society children how were they treated so treatment of children in victorian society you can talk about that okay right so then as hypothermia sets in the girl strikes matches uh, which provokes hallucination of warmth so this you can talk about the theme of imagination which we have done it which we have done right now right so like this you can definitely merge keep on merging so uh, ending with her believing she's ascending to the heavens to be with her deceased grandmother so this is what this is her wish fulfillment and you can also talk about the trope of fairy tale okay how is it twisted right so this is how you have to use these points to enrich your answers as well because these answers this these points everybody will write so how will you make your answer different from the rest this is how you can make that right next we will come to the grandmother okay so the little girl's grandmother is the only person that she had you know that uh, uh, whom who has had shown love to that little girl and definitely the vision of the grandmother appears as bright and beautiful she embraces the girl and takes her to the afterlife so when you are talking about afterlife you talk about the afterlife um, theme that we have done right so you add this theme of afterlife as well and there will be so you talk about wish fulfillment at the end right talk about life after death that is the belief of the Christian, right? Christianity, Christian belief. Also, you can talk about the vision. Okay. So, when you are talking about the vision of grandmother, okay, you talk about the shooting star as well, which we have done in the previous slide. So, please mer keep merging these answers, right? We have done them separately, but so I have not mentioned them here, but this is your responsibility to mention. I have just mentioned it here. So please merge this from the previous slide. I'm sure you can do that on your own, right? So that will definitely enrich your answer and make it different. So now we have the father. While uh, the father does not appear in the story scenes, but his presence looms large over the little girl. Because and his father is the main reason that the little girl does not return home and she uh, succumbs to death right because if she returns home she will succumb to cruelty there right so she's afraid of her father and uh, you will talk about victorian setting okay you will talk about industrialization okay you can also talk about children miniature of adults They were treated as miniature of adults in the Victorian setting, in the industrialization or the industrial revolution, right? So that is uh, that is how you can, uh, you know, use this in the character sketch of the father, right? So now that was all, guys. Take care. And this is the homework question. The little match girl can be viewed as a work of opposites. 
justify. Okay, so this is the question that you have to opposites as in you can uh, talk about how the uh, they have used. Okay, I will leave this to you. Let's see what answers you come up with, and then I will justify. Uh, I will talk about it in the next session. All right, guys. Let's see what comes in your mind when you see this. All right. So please do comment on the question on the uh, on the question in the comment section. All right. Don't forget that. And we will see the answer, the innovative answers that you give in the next session. Okay, bacha. So thank you so much, guys. And before going away, don't forget to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. And you can download the handwritten uh, notes of this session as well. Okay, bacha lo. So do that. And thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. See you again in the next session. Don't forget to download the handwritten notes. That will be helpful for you. Okay, bye. Take care.